So Kenneth Cole, the clothing designer, decided to get involved in politics and uh, demonized teachers' unions and teachers. So basically, uh, his company, or uh, the Kenneth Cole Foundation, put up these billboards throughout the country, and they basically say, teachers' rights versus students' rights. So there's the uh, billboard that I was talking about right now. What is he talking about? Well, if you go to the website, it turns out that he is very outspoken, or the foundation is very outspoken, against ineffective teachers and how teachers' unions protect these ineffective teachers from getting fired. Mm -hmm. Okay, So of course people are upset about this because how do you deem a teacher ineffective? One of the biggest problems right now in education is that it's very difficult to find a, a legitimate way to evaluate these teachers, mm -hmm. right? So nobody is in favor of ineffective teachers, but how do you evaluate the teachers? Do you evaluate them based on how their students do on standardized testing? Do you evaluate them best based on what other teachers say about them during evaluations? I don't know, it doesn't evaluation really- Evaluation with maybe students, but then again, you don't know if students are just gonna kinda wing it and be like, oh, I don't like this teacher because she reprimanded me, you know? So it's hard to really nail down a real reason to do it. I mean, maybe because there's so much, th I don't know. I, I, I haven't been, like, you know, outside of college, high school and all this in a really long time. I'm an old-ass man. But, um, so I don't know the degree in which they're trying to, uh, the detachment they have from allowing teachers to do whatever they want. Because this thing is, it seems like a mystery to, to, dis to determine which teachers are bad and which ones are good. I feel like it should be pretty easy. I knew which ones of my teachers sucked. I know. I get what you mean. But the thing is, you need to have a way of evaluating teachers that's legitimate and not just based on like one case to another, if you know what I mean. So I know which teachers I thought sucked, right? Mm -hmm. But were those teachers really ineffective? And if those teachers really are ineffective, how do we voice those concerns in a legitimate way? It's much more complicated. Look, it's more complicated. I'm into education. Right. I, I read about education. I study education. It's the one thing that I'm most passionate about, right? Even given my passion in this subject, I am not qualified in any way, shape, or form to evaluate a teacher, right? Mm -hmm. But here's what I know for sure. Kenneth Cole and his foundation sure as hell is not qualified enough to determine a legitimate way to... So you know, what exactly do you think he's saying? Is he saying all teachers suck, they should all be fired? I mean, it, you know, where is his position just... I mean, we're going off of this billboard, but where, I wonder where his position is. You say you looked on his foundation. No, no, no. It, 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 I went further than the billboard yeah. because I was curious too. Mm -hmm. And you know, he has a website that talks about um, you know, under underperforming teachers and ineffective teachers and how they're protected by the unions, mm -hmm. right? And look, that's a legitimate concern because there are cases where there are teachers who mm -hmm. are unmotivated, who don't care. And this is this is rare. This isn't something that's a huge issue, right? And because of the fact that they have tenure and because they're protected under the unions, mm -hmm. they don't get fired, okay? That happens once in a while. But I hate when people bring up this issue and they say, oh, teachers unions, protecting underperforming teachers. Well, what's an underperforming teacher? How do you determine a teacher is underperforming? I think a lot of teachers are underperformed because they're put in a situation where they can't do anything. I mean, I can't tell you, my brother's talking about how he had to buy, not, not school supplies for your, for your daughter, but school supplies for the school because the teachers can't actually do anything unless they get help from maybe parents that put in, and a lot of times teachers go in their own pocket to, to furnish things for the classroom. It's all, it's all a matter of the atmosphere and the whole system that we have in place that doesn't allow them to do anything. So there may be teachers that actually have a chance to do stuff or have the desire and will to do something, but they, they're shackled with the lack of funds. I mean, it all Absolutely. starts from the entire system. Absolutely, that you're seeing that on in every single state where Republicans, uh, state legislators will defund public education mm -hmm. in an effort to show that public education is ineffective because they want to privatize education, right? And another way is they evaluate teachers based on standardized testing. So what happens? The teachers don't focus on educating their students, they focus on teaching them how to pass a test. Totally. That's not education. Okay, and to evaluate a teacher based on that, I think is beyond unfair. It sounds like the, the, um, the slacker mentality of a kid, which, you know, I did it, of course, too. But where you go, oh, I don't feel like reading, going through this whole system. Let me just be ready for the tests. Yeah. You know, all you care about is just passing the class. And, and you've completely, you know, of course, it, that's from a, a child's mentality of, let me just get through this. Mm -hmm. And you're not thinking, oh, what's the big picture of me having an education? That's what the teacher's there for. But when they're forced to go for the goal of simply getting through this, 
That's what you come up with. No education.